My name is Megan Graham and today I'm going to be talking to you about my recent paper in the orthopedic journal sports medicine called the relationship between quadriceps strength and knee joint power during jumping after ACL reconstruction. So the whole passion behind this study was really to investigate more the performance side of return to sport after ACL reconstruction. A lot of the literature focuses on landing mechanics from jumping, and I really wanted to look at how quadricep strength impacts performance, so looking more at the propulsive phase of jumping as opposed to the landing phase. And so the primary purpose of this study was to evaluate the relationship between quadricep strength and knee joint power generation during the drop vertical jump. And secondarily, to establish a quadricep strength cutoff that would maximize the likelihood that an ACL subject would have knee joint mechanics that were quote unquote normal or similar to those of healthy subjects. So this study looked at 40 individuals who were six months out from ACL reconstruction and we had an age match control group of 35 individuals. For quadricep strength testing, Everybody performed maximal isometric contractions at 90 degrees of knee flexion on the bidex. And so we took the peak torque, which would be the average value from the trial, and we took four max effort trials and averaged across the four trials. For the drop vertical jump, uh, we did 3D motion analysis with this. Individuals dropped off of a 30 centimeter box and were instructed to jump as high as fast as high as possible, as fast as possible. And this is where we derived knee joint power. And then for analysis of the data, we did paired t-tests to compare strength and biomechanics between limbs. We did Pearson correlations to look at that relationship between knee joint power and quad strength. And then we did a rock curve to uh, determine that quadricep strength cutoff. And when we look at the results, you can see that even at six months post-op, these individuals still have significant, ooh, significant deficits in quadricep strength. So the average LSI was only around 63%. There were also significant between limb differences in knee and ankle joint power during the propulsive phase of the jump, as well as total power. So the amount of power that that limb was producing. And then when we look at how much each joint, each joint was contributing to the jump, you can see that the involved limb, the knee on the ACL involved limb was not contributing very much to the drop vertical jump. So this would mean that they're displaying what we would call knee avoidant jumping mechanics. Um, and then whenever we look at the relationship between strength and power, you can see that quadricep strength is driving some of that deficit in knee joint power. And then when we look at the results of the rock curve, it came up with a strength cutoff of 2.07 newton meters per kilogram. So essentially that's how much you kicked on the biotex divided by your body weight in kilos. And to make this a little bit easier to understand, if you look at the individuals who fell below the cutoff, um, so the group on the left, only five of those individuals that were below the strength cutoff had normal jumping mechanics while 10 of the 13 who are above the cutoff demonstrated normal jumping mechanics. So if you were above the cutoff, it really increased the likelihood that you were going to display normal jumping mechanics. And so in conclusion, we see that quadriceps weakness of the involved limb definitely persists at six months after ACL reconstruction and can lead to a loss of knee joint power generation and knee avoidant jumping mechanics or during a drop vertical jump, which all could impair performance. And it does seem that there is a certain amount of strength that we need in order for the knee joint to contribute normally to a vertical jumping task. And as clinicians and PTs, we should really focus on prioritizing quadricep strength in order to help return our athletes to performance. And we should also be testing strength at regular intervals throughout the rehab process.